Neonatal pneumonia. Neonatal pneumonia accounts for 11% of cases of neonatal respiratory distress. Pneumonia is more commonly seen in infants born prematurely. Other risk factors include maternal chorioamnionitis and rupture of membranes of greater than 18 hours. Early onset pneumonia, which occurs within three days of birth, is vertically transmitted from the mother via aspiration of infected amniotic fluid or transplacental transmission of organisms via the placental circulation. Common pathogens of early onset pneumonia include group B strep, which is the most common, as well as E. coli, Klebsiella, and herpes simplex virus. Symptoms of early onset pneumonia include respiratory distress, poor feeding, apnea, tachycardia, and poor perfusion. Diagnosis of neonatal pneumonia is made via laboratory findings suggestive of infection, such as an elevated white blood cell count, and characteristic findings on chest x-ray, which often shows bilateral alveolar densities with air bronchograms. The empiric treatment of early onset pneumonia is often with ampicillin and gentamicin. Late onset pneumonia is often hospital acquired, with a major risk factor being receipt of respiratory support. Another possible etiology of late onset pneumonia is chlamydia trachomatis, which has a very long incubation period and causes pneumonia at two to four weeks of life.